could possibly have an eruption, you're going to get a different event. You can't just say this would happen because it totally depends on what's happening in terms of how the volcano erupts and the amount of time that you would take uh, and the specific wind conditions during the time period uh, that you're erupting. In this particular case, you get some fingers of one to three millimeters of ash that make it as far as the Great Lakes and over here almost into New York State. Um, but for the most part, the eastern U.S. doesn't end up getting a lot of ash, even from a giant eruption, such as might happen at Yellowstone. Uh, but the, these eruptions in the past have a remarkable effect on the landscape. And so here is the Rocky Mountain area, Yellowstone Lake, that's right here. Here's the Yellowstone Caldera. There's the Grand Teton Mountains. And you'll see the Tetons march up here. Uh, there's all sorts of Rocky Mountains, the Gallatin Range, the Absorca range, uh, range up here. But there's no big mountain ranges within Yellowstone itself. And that's because during these big caldera-forming eruptions, uh, especially the first one and the third one, uh, the mountains eventually, they, they fall into the caldera and they disappear. And then later on, new lavas come out of the ground and bury a lot of what, had, would, what was present in terms of the landscape. So uh, um, definitely 